Hello and welcome to my channel. In this video I will address an important question that keeps tormenting the minds of students who have just started on their journey in coding. And that question is which are the programming languages that they should learn in? What is the scope of that particular language in recent technologies? No one wants to learn a skill that is going to become obsolete in the coming years. Here I will answer this question keeping in mind the technology needs of 2023. The first programming language that I think is a must for every programmer is the C programming language. C is no doubt a versatile language and has been there with us for decades. However, it may be old but not obsolete. It is faster and finds tremendous usage in the creation of popular operating systems and the software drivers. It is also used in robotics, embedded systems and game development. As an example look at this six-wheel drive robotic vehicle. This is built using microcontroller embedded C technology. The second programming language that I recommend is Java. Though the syntax is complex compared to other languages and being a bit slower than C. Java has its own advantages. It can either be the creation of executable desktop applications or Android applications for mobile phones. Java can do it all. Create EXE or package your software with Microsoft MSIX. This is a color-changing analog clock that is created using Java. The third and final recommendation from my side is Python. Python has a relatively easy syntax but it is even slower than Java. But the scope of Python is so great that you simply cannot ignore it. Python has made it easier for building machine learning models. There are modules related to data science, web development, image processing, video editing and even artificial intelligence. This MSI software is packaged with Beware framework. You can use IP cameras for home security. After you have created a successful AI model, you are not restricted to just source code. Feel free to package the software as MSI files in ready to distribute condition. If you find this information helpful, Please do like and subscribe to my channel and I will see you in the next video. Thank you.